There, there can be some showers or a thunder shower, but uh, hey, play ball for now because the worst continues to be to the south, and as you can see by these flashing red polygons. Well, let's start it out with the yellow shadings. The entire area is under a watch until 10 p.m. It's a severe thunderstorm watch. It means watch out. Severe thunderstorms are possible. The warnings are in these flashing polygons here, basically across southern Crawford County into portions of Mercer and Venango County. So let's just go county by county. Not a lot happening in Erie right now. There are showers and some thunder to the west, so you can get clipped in the next hour or two. Not a lot happening in Warren County. The bulk of the action has been in Crawford, and we've got a severe thunderstorm warning right now for basically the southern half of that county. And again, you've got some red cores and some uh, purple cores here between Jamestown and Conneaut, headed to the south of Meadville and Cockerton, so you've got some heavy downpours there. Now, this is Venango County, this is Titusville, and this is Cherry Tree. So we do have a tornado warning. This is south of Cherry Tree in Venango County. So this is moving out to the southeast away from our area. Uh, again, northern Venango, this is not your concern. Places like Cooperstown over to Pleasantville, but areas in southern and eastern Venango County, a tornado warning for a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado heading away from our area. So we'll continue to look at that, although it is moving away, and also these clusters of heavy cells moving across the Mercer as well as Crawford line. Those are the immediate concerns, but as we back it out, again, what you've got is two situations. The heaviest stuff is to the south, We've got some showers and a little bit of thunder that can come across Erie County, but this is where the energy is, and it's pushing southeast. Tom DeBecchio is on Facebook Live, Jet Fox, your Erie Facebook, if you want to uh, have complete wall-to-wall uh, -wall coverage at this moment. So the storm threats in those areas, gusty winds, downpour, lightning, and perhaps some hail, but tomorrow, severe risk moves out of the area. And as we take a look at the lake forecast, and you can verify this for overland, Plenty of clouds, chance of showers, waves 1 to 3, north to west winds 5 to 10, but no severe weather. Got to 84 today, our low was 71 degrees, so as we get you through the night, the next few hours, of course, will bring some showers and storms which will diminish by sunset, the heaviest south of Erie, and moving away. A cooler, damp tomorrow, a nicer Friday and a nicer weekend. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore for tonight. Evening showers develop, a chance of storms, but not raining all the time. 56 to 59, north of 90, including the city of Erie, towards morning. Edinburgh, Meadville, and especially down to Greenville and Franklin, we've got some strong storms with some wind and hail possible over the next couple of hours, 55 to 59, but that activity will be diminishing after sunset as well. And to the east, New York State, pretty good shape. Southern Warren and Forest County, you're still under the gun for storms at times possibly strong to severe in the next couple of hours, and then that diminishes and you go down to 55 to 59. No severe weather tomorrow, mainly cloudy, cooler, some showers, upper 60s to near 70. And on your seven day, breaking out of it for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, just in time for a comfortable weekend with a slow warming trend. Some more showers, possibly a storm Monday and Tuesday, and uh, Wednesday looks dry at this point with a high of 72. So uh, check out Jet Fox Your Facebook Live for Tommy D's coverage right now. And of course, the interactive radar at yourerie.com.